Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christina Ballard and my channel is Life Learning. Um, I'm so sorry I haven't been able to post anything um, as far as my videos go on WGU. Um, I've been put through the ringer because um, my house survived Hurricane Ida and we had no electricity for almost a month and we had to stay with family and I'm just getting my house back in order. Um, as you can see behind me, it's a mess. <laughs> um, but the good news is I, you know, finished my uh, enrollment requirements for WGU University. Uh, my transcripts were submitted. I finished WGU Academy. Um, I went ahead and did the financial stuff. I talked with my enrollment advisor. Um, in fact, today we're supposed to speak on my financials and just get me set up for orientation. And as I've noticed, orientation is ready for me to take it. Um, so this video is dedicated to what you can expect from orientation. Now, my orientation will be different if you are in the health, uh, I think technology and business, because mine is based in the teacher's college. But if you are in part of the teacher's college, this is what it will look like for you. Okay, so this is the overall layout for uh, my enrollment portal. Um, this is my enrollment advisor. I filled out my financial requirements. I paid my application fee, that was the first thing. I had to contact my enrollment advisor, that was the second thing. I really met my program el eligibility requirements before submitting my transcripts, completing my intake interview, and then financial. Uh, once I submitted my transcripts, then I was able to do the intake interview, which I'm not sure why it's called intake interview. Um, intake interview, you can do it by phone or by online, but it's usually online. You just make sure all your uh, information is correct, and then they kind of quiz you about what you know so far about the program, and that's basically it. Once you've done that, your financials will go ahead and process, and once they are processed, orientation will be cleared and ready to go. Uh, my financials are supposed to, were supposed to be clear before the 22nd of each month. Um, because if they're not cleared by then, you can't uh, start. And I'm so sorry about the glare on my computer. I'm just now noticing it. I'm so sorry about that. This is my date of when I'm expected to begin. And as you can see, this says it's I'm clear to start orientation. Now, it did say, like, in the very beginning, it started to say, like, uh, enrollment in process or... When I finally submitted my transcripts, it started to say admitted, which I was very excited about. And now that I'm clear to start, it really, really feels like I'm in the program and I just could not be more excited uh, about this. So once you click begin orientation, this button pulls up and then you just basically go to course, which it'll bring up this page. So this is the... Uh, you know, overview of everything. Um, it tells you a little bit about everything. Uh, to launch the course, you click here. To go to course material, you, you click right here. And then it tells me the assessments that I will need to submit. Um, this is the assessment for orientation. So the first thing I have to do before I officially start orientation course is I have to complete this personal learning guide. And um, it says that it'll take me about two hours to engage in this. I can leave and then come back to the activity. It's not part of my academic record. And um, I'll use this to plan my first term and meet members at WGU of Community Care. Um, and then before, before I, after I complete this, I can meet my program mentor, which will help me um, which will essentially be with me until I graduate. So I've already clicked on this and it brought me up to this page. Um, these are all the things I have to complete before starting orientation. So there are life factors. Um, I've heard it's like a bunch of series of questions where they get to know me a little bit better. Um, so I guess like, you know, life that, uh, factors that they want to make sure I will have a dedicated place to study um, and support from family, individual attributes, um, 
They want to understand my personality better. Uh, reading, this is where they kind of test you a little bit, but I've heard it won't be like counted against you. Um, you'll just be reading a passage, respond to prompts. So it's very much like reading comprehension. So you do have a little bit of a basic exam in this, um, but that's okay because um, I've heard it's just very, very easy. Um, and again, they're just trying to see what you know, and this kind of goes into like their uh, study plan for you um, until you graduate. Um, then they want to know some learning strategies that I'll be using. Um, again, getting to know me a little bit better. There's a writing readiness, just basic, very simple, wanting to know about my grammar and my approach to writing. <laughs> um, technology competency, they want to make sure I have everything, which I do, because at the end of this video, I will show you what uh, requirements you need for technology. I'll, I'll show you that. Uh, this is interesting to me. I've never heard of this before, but I have heard that they'll uh, want to see my typing speed. I guess it's because the faster you type your notes and the faster you do things, the faster you will complete the course, which makes sense. And there's a math re readiness, which will take about 20 minutes for me to complete. Okay. So now that I am done with the <clears throat> personal learning guide, I have already started orientation the course and I will now begin the course material. Okay, so here we have a table of contents of orientation. Unit one, welcome to WGU. There's, looks like there's a quiz that I need to complete, uh, which that's the one assignment. Then my unit two is welcome to my college. Again, this is my teacher's college. I have seven modules. So it looks like I go to the college teacher of education. This is my program right here. Then I have unit three, <clears throat> which I'm assuming we'll talk about all the, how I navigate my uh, student portal and everything. And then at the very end, there's two, there's a final quiz that I need to complete. And then there's, okay, so I have a few unit quizzes and looks like I just um, go over each one. Looks like there's a unit quiz after everything. Yep, okay, so, except for this one, it looks like. I hope you enjoyed uh, viewing my orientation. I've completely got it done. Um, all I have to do is just do a few little things before I meet with my program mentor. And then um, I wait back to hear uh, my orientation task assignment to see if um, I need to revise it. I did have to 
complete a second submission, so I had to revise it the first time. Um, but I don't think it was anything complicated. It just kind of asked me, you know, what are my future plans after I get my degree? Just things like that. Just um, very basic. I didn't have to know a lot to, you know, to, to pass this. <laughs> um, before I go, I did want to mention the webcam. So in the past, WGU has sent like a welcome kit and it would come with the webcam and a whiteboard. I haven't gotten my uh, welcome kit yet. I think they still do that, I'm not sure. Um, of course, I'll do a video on it if I ever get that kit. But I, I did have to um, buy my webcam. That's the only difference right now, uh, 2021 and beyond, is that you do have to uh, buy your own webcam. So, this is my webcam. Uh, I got the the standard one that everyone kind of gets because um i just like the way it moves as well it's it's kind of cool um that was about $50. other webcams that you can purchase i just found those to be very expensive i think there were two other options and one of them was like a hundred dollars one of them you can actually put on your computer laptop like right where the webcam of the computer is um, another one was kind of similar, I think, to the one I bought, I think, but it was just very expensive. And I just wanted the one that everyone else has been getting, so I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Stay tuned for more, and thank you for watching.